For an airplane pilot, flying solo the first time is always a scary experience. As flying is for the beginning pilot, so is teaching for the beginning teacher when they first face a classroom alone. Knowing what to expect ahead of time provides a comfort level for either profession. When you come from college and you have a textbook education and you're thrown into the arena of teaching and that door closes and it's just you and 25, 30 students, and you must be able to support that lesson. You must be confident in what you're doing. You must be able to deliver the lesson so that the learning process comes about. Without proper readiness, too many beginning teachers leave teaching before really getting their careers off the ground. Within five years, we lose 50%. Now, it depends upon which study you read, but 50%. Think of all the money they put into their undergraduate training. And there's some evidence that the 50% that are leaving are some of our best and most talented. And they are not leaving for more money in the outside sector. They are leaving because of discipline, stress of managing today's classroom with today's kids with so many different needs. Hang in there. It's going to get better. Um, it just falls into place. It becomes more natural. Your first time at that is not the way the whole game is played. Nice and loud. Okay, get this issue of the Video Journal of Education gives the beginning teacher useful strategies for launching rewarding careers through proactive classroom management. Part one of the series presents winning strategies for bonding and connecting procedures and routines, and student work requirements. The second videotape, part two, will have additional proactive classroom management strategies that will give the beginning teacher license and know-how to not only get off the ground, but soar into a fulfilling career, inspiring young people to become successful citizens and lifelong learners.